Hello everyone, how are we doing? I have a match for you here today where I'm just using stuff. We've got a stuff tier game going on against Sanjeet the Idiot. If you don't know Sanjeet the Idiot, he is like he's a legend of the legends and he does lots of stuff and on the internet. I advise that you go watch it because it's very good, hilarious and lots of other things. So he's gonna lead off with something which uh, is is scary. It's, it's scary as shit, man. It's a sun cut. Uh, you do not end arrest on under you don't end arrest estimate, underestimate, overestimate, or just throughestimate Sunken, because it, it will wreck your day. It really will. It's a scary thing. It's, it looks cute and cuddly and everything, but it isn't. It, 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 it can grow into a monster, and you shall see why maybe later. I don't even remember if it does anything, but it might do. Who, who cares? Anyway, I've got my genie. This is like from the beginning of 5th gen. It was a sub bulk up genie with aerial ace and brick break and the sub and the prankster with the priority with the bulk up and the stuff and that's basically what I do is set up a sub go for an aerial ace and a bulk up and in comes a twilight fag which is a crowbat and uh, sludge bomb is stabbing everything's gonna do a lot of damage it's gonna take out the sub easily and I don't think I'm faster but I went first because prankster with bulk up but I don't think I'm faster on this turn so I'm just gonna go for the aerial ace anyway thinking that I can live a sludge bomb or hoping that I can live one and hoping to not get poisoned on it and it actually takes it really well I don't know how uh, much special defense this genie has. I don't know what its base spec D is, but it takes that very respectably, especially from a life orb crowbat. So pretty, pretty surprised by that, I guess. Um, it's it's good to know that uh, it, it's okay in the bulk uh, variety variant thing. Um, but in comes Tauros and. He ice beams, and I'm like, what? What? What the hell is going on here? He he has an ice beaming choice spec Tauros, and I think I just I think I just like what the fuck all over my face. Like I don't even know what happened, but that was pretty cool. I have to say, if you're gonna bring something to stuff tier, spec Tauros is really the way to go. I have to say. Um, so I'm gonna go into my pompadom because it's you know Sanji the idiot, and obviously it's an Indian snack with. Uh, a pun in the middle so you know it's probably the most perfect thing I could have brought if I'm gonna be perfectly honest here um, it's it's the fling one is this this is my favorite set of army pom it's the fling light ball set with low sweep and fake out and all that good stuff and uh, I take out the Tauros with a fakey fakey a fakey out lowy sweepy combination and then it comes whisk cash which I'm gonna fling the light ball at that thing get it paralyzed I'm like yo Paralyzer ground type, hell yeah, that's how we roll, and, uh, and then I'm going to miss the double hit as he gets paralyzed, so we're going to have a completely useless turn there, um, but I realize at this point I may want to keep Ambipom for later, just because fake out would be nice, and it turns out that Ambipom is going to be a really big useful thing later on, so it's a good idea that, for me to keep it, I guess, um, but I know he's going to go for the waterfall, even if he went for the earthquake, uh, Altaria can dodge that too, so that's good, I mean, I can just, Altaria is just a very good spongy sponge thing against Whiskash, unless the Whiskash is carrying Stone Edge, because I know some Whiskashes do do that, uh, my one in 4th gen had Stone Edge, so maybe his would, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to go for the Parasong because I think that that thing is going to probably uh, take a while to kill and I don't want to be sitting there hammering the Dragon Pulse button again and again waiting for it to die. So I thought that I might as well just go for the, uh, the good old Parasong and get him uh, on a time bomb, uh, hopefully ticking out. Uh, in comes Sunfloor of the uh, Sun Kern. Kern. Sun Kern indeed. And it's going to set up the sun again uh, and it's going to protect and I'm like, okay. Uh, I don't really know what this thing's going to do still, like, I'm very confused, but he, he dodges the fake out, which is excellent for him, and his Paris count is down to one, and he goes to the Endeavor, and it doesn't affect me because I am at lower HP. So that's a shame, because he was actually faster than my Ambipom in the sun, which is pretty phenomenal, and I'm thinking that sun can, can be very useful if you use it in that way, because it outsped Ambipom in the sun, i just let you like what? It's pretty crazy, I have to say. Anyway, uh, double hit is going to be like my favorite move in the world here, <clears throat> and I need to clear my throat, Jesus Christ, because I'm just like smacking the crap out of everything, I'm just like double hit all the things, that miss my double the hit, and you're dead, Roserade, and smacking you in the face and the petals, and you're dead. Blur. That's what happens. Zambi, he's just his two. He's just high five and all the things. Like yo, high five and high five and 
I don't know. It's just he's hitting everyone, and it's it's working out for me. As you can see, Wish Cash doesn't die. So had he not got paralyzed on that turn and taken me out with an earthquake, he would have saved himself a whole lot of trouble. Cause Ami Pom just went on a pompadom rampage all over his team, all over his face. So, unfortunate for him, but that's how it goes. Anyway, I want to bring in Heat More, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill you with a fire blast, even though you're a water type. Come on, Heat More. <laughs> And he's like, nope, smidgen. I, I prayed to the smidge gods of smidge smidgioto and smidgeot, and they were like, I bestow upon thee, wish cash, the ability to live and the ability to revenge with the earthquake. And thus smidgeot and smidgeoto bestowed upon him the power of the smidgen, and he lived. And I was like, oh, why? It's okay, because I got Karibo Shoe here. Karibo, it's what that's one of my favorite nicknames I've ever given a thing. Karibo Shoe, that's it's so good, man. It's, it's, oh, you, you just need to understand how anyway i don't even care i kill it with bug buzz that's a game it was fun and stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did welcome to leave a like down below it would be helpful to me and sunjeet and stuff also check out sunjeet's channel he has a lot of funny stuff going on like he took a character that i invented and expanded upon the universe of that character in such a way that makes me just very proud to have invented the character in the first place so you can go and check out his channel he uh, has some really uh, hilarious Pokemon online videos he does, so feel free to check that out. Otherwise, you can check out the Funky Boogie on Twitter at the top of the did it out of order, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.